Well, I, I woke up and I had messages from really media people, and one that's a friend of mine, and I said, where did this information come from? And he said that the Bureau of Immigration had released a press release to the, in the morning saying that my missionary visa had been cancelled and I was given a temporary visitor's visa for 30 days and I had to be out of the country in 30 days. The <clears throat> Bureau of Immigration said that you were involved in partisan political politics. Um, they said that you attended a rally. Is that fair and that, that, that you broke the terms of your missionary visa? There's, according to my lawyers, there's no, they're uncovered under the Bill of Rights, which is the freedom of expression. And a lot of what they've put there is not rallies. It was visiting political prisoners. We had a fast to release political prisoners. I'm standing holding a microphone at one stage and we were having a prayer at that stage. Um, so my thing is, okay, you can call it, it's political if you like, you know, the, the, the plight of the political prisoners, the plight of the, the farmers, the plight of the, but it's not partisan political. I haven't been bad-mouthing the president. Mm. President Duterte obviously ordered the investigation into your visa. What did you do that made him so angry? I think the, the fact that I went on a... There was an international solidarity and fact-finding mission to Mindanao because we had been getting a lot of reports of human rights abuses and the government was denying there were any human rights abuses. So we actually went to interview people who were victims or their families were victims and to find out if there is human rights violations and to document them. You've been in the country for nearly 30 years. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? This is the first time I've, um, yes, this is the first time I've had a run-in with the Bureau of Immigration because in the, the 20, nearly 28 years I've been in and out of the country for home visits, for meetings and I've never had, and I've never had any problems renewing my visa before. If you could send a message to the people of the Philippines about this case, what would you say? I think that I would ask that everybody be treated, given due process, whether it's myself, whether it's a political prisoner, whether it's a farmer, whether it's a, that there, there'd be due process, that there'd be democratic processes that are followed.